Welcome to 14th of May's Golly Blessing. Now, Supreme Father wants us to have a flawless karmic account. You see, in Quran it's mentioned that God is sitting over there and He's recording all the things. Actually, His angels are recording everything which everyone is doing on earth. Similar things have been mentioned in Bible also and into Bhagavad Gita and also their stories in the different scriptures, even in Guru Granth Sahib that he is recording everything. So why shouldn't we pay attention to our karmas and be a little or maybe a more, little more careful of what we are doing on this earth? Because sometimes greed and jealousy and ego and competition and comparison take over our life and we forget to live our life actually. Forget about karma. We forget to live our life. So here Godfather says, may you be knowledgeable of the deep philosophy of karma and keep your register flawless. That register and one register is over here. You can't forget things which you have done 10 years back, 20 years back, even though your brain cells have already changed over many times. So that means you're a soul who's keeping a record, not the brain which is keeping a record of your different activities in the form of pictures and feelings. Your register flawless with the blessing of receiving a divine intellect. As soon as every Brahmin child takes birth, that means as soon as we do the seven day course, he receives the blessing of having a divine intellect. Now that's a choice which we can keep with us. Either we see everything through a divine intellect or we go into our older ways or older habits. Only when there isn't any type of influence of any problem, any company or of your own dictates, influence of any problem, so something happens and you become greedy because of that, somebody does something to you and become jealous of that, somebody goes does better than you and you're competing with them out of out of revenge or of or putting them down. Now that is not a divine intellect. Any company that means you get into the wrong company of wrong people who influence you to getting into wrong habits or your own dictates or we are like, oh, who cares? Who's seeing? Who knows whether God is seeing or not? Let's enjoy this life. And we go into our own dictates. It's okay. Once or twice we do it. It's okay. On your divine intellect, can your register remain Flawless. Only when there isn't any type of influence of any problem, any company or your own dictates on your divine intellect can your register remain flawless. However, if your intellect does not work at the right time, there can be a stain on your register. That means when a situation comes, somebody says something, somebody tries to take something from you, somebody tries to put you down and at that time if you also use the same methods as that person is using, then there's a stain on your register. This is why it is said that the philosophy of karma is very deep. People of the world repent for their actions at every step. Whereas you children who are knowledgeable about karma never have to repent for your actions. That means we have to be very careful of what we do in every step which we take. Now that step is not a physical step, it's a step of your thoughts. You would say, Waha, my elevated actions. As compared to the world saying, Oho. What did I do? Why did I do this? Why did I invest here? Why did I be in this relationship? Why did I do this thing to my health? Why did I eat this? Whereas we are in the right karma. And that's why we say Vaha. Now, if you also want to learn this beautiful philosophy or deeper philosophy of karma, then Brahma Kumari's doors open for you. You're most welcome. Om Shanti with this.